Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. This is actually my first video that I'm filming in 2023. So happy new year to you guys. Um, I really do hope that all of you have an incredible year full of just happiness, good mental health, good physical health, um, a lot of success. I really hope the best for you. Um, and I really hope the best for me too. I actually feel like I haven't had the best start to the year, but nonetheless, we can talk about that in another video. So today is my first video of 2023 and you best believe that I rushed to film this because I just received Valeo from Parfum de Mali like one or two days ago. Um, and as far as I'm aware, there is no review of the fragrance yet online. So I really hope that I'm the first to review it because I'm never the first to review anything. So Valea is the new feminine fragrance from Parfum de Mali and I was really, really looking forward to this launch specifically because I did get the chance to smell a sample recently in Cannes, just last October when Pierre and I went to Cannes for business. Um, I got to smell a sample of Valea and totally loved it. Guys, this is my vibe completely and I feel like it's going to resonate a lot with a lot of you guys. This is of course not a paid review by Mali. Um, I just kind of wanted to capitalize off of the fact that nobody has reviewed this yet and I might be the first one. So Valea from Mali, let's get into it and how it smells and how it wears. I've only worn it once for like a full day so I can only give you my experience of like one day of wearing it. But I will tell you all of my thoughts and... Yeah, <laughs> let's just get into it. I'm always really excited. I don't know about you guys when Parfum Mali does launch a product because I feel like um, comparing to other brands, they don't launch new fragrances too often, like maybe one to two per year, which I think is the best way for a brand to approach releasing fragrances is to keep it more like exclusive. If I had a brand, that's exactly what I would do. Um, anyways. Valea, this is what the bottle looks like. It is a beautiful like kind of white frosted glass. I think it looks absolutely stunning. And I just cannot wait to share with you guys my thoughts on the fragrance because um, I am gonna spoil it. I do really love the scent. I didn't know that Kantan Bish was a perfumer. So Kantan Bish created Valea, but he also created Delina, Delina Exclusive, Delina La Rose. Um, and maybe one other from the feminine collection. I'm not too sure, but he did do the layer. So in the top you have peach, bergamot, mandarin, and outer hides. In the mid you have orange blossom, lily of the valley, vetiver, nymphil, talia, uh, mahonia, musk, vanilla, ambroxan, and akigala wood in the base. So there's a lot of um, molecules there from Gibedon. Uh, so let's go ahead and smell it. What I love about this fragrance is the beautiful, juicy opening, which is very, very different from the dry down of the scent. In the opening, you get this beautiful burst of citruses, the mandarin, the bergamot. It's very bright, very uplifted, very ethereal. I do have to say that I wish the juicy citrusy opening did last a little bit longer, but guys, wow. It's already starting to dry down into what I think is the DNA of Valaya, which is this beautiful, fresh, musky, sweet, white floral and it is just beautiful i really really love the scent and this is exactly what i like especially myself as you guys know i am in my floral era of life which means that i am obsessed with anything floral at the moment and i'm kind of steering away from like sweeter fragrances don't get me wrong this is still sweet but it has this beautiful like marshmallowy airy sweetness which is what i love about the scent now, I am going to give you guys a comparison. Uh, I like to give you guys comparisons to other fragrances so you can better understand the way that a fragrance smells. And I just like to do it. Valea has some slight similarities to Deja Vu from Kaali. This sweet white floral with some muskiness. It's quite airy and beautiful. So the main difference is that Valea opens up with this beautiful burst of citruses that are quite juicy. And then it transforms into that sweet, airy, um, marshmallowy white floral that is just absolutely 
beautiful you guys and don't get me wrong i do feel like there is a freshness that stays throughout the fragrance which i think is beautiful and personally i absolutely love that the mix of the little bit of freshness mixed with this sweet airiness and the white florals and the musks i just think it's a killer fragrance and a really really good launch from the house so in my opinion is it worth trying yes absolutely especially since there is a big trend at the moment for uh white flowers uh, a lot of orange blossom a lot of jasmine tuberose sweet uh sweet white florals i feel like it's a big trend so definitely try Vallejo. I think what makes it stand out, in my opinion, is like I said before, the opening that is quite zesty, juicy, and a little bit citrusy, mixed with all of the other notes in the fragrance. For me, that's what makes it stand out from all the others. As far as longevity and projection goes, I only wore it once, like I told you guys, so I'm not going to give you like an absolute answer. But on my skin, it lasted around six hours, like six to eight hours with a small projection. But like I said, again, I only had the chance to wear it once. So don't take that statement too truthfully. Like I'm not sure I need to wear it more to be able to tell you guys. But my initial thoughts is that it's not a beast mode scent. It's more of a beautiful, soft, musky floral that kind of sits within your like um, perimeter. Does that make any sense? An absolutely beautiful, smooth, musky slightly sweet and airy white floral that you guys should check out especially if you're into floral fragrances and also i wanted to say i do recommend checking this fragrance out if you're already a fan of oriana from parfum de mali not because they smell the same at all i just feel like people that enjoyed oriana would probably um, resonate with Vallejo as well because of this kind of sweetness, because of this uh, kind of trendy sort of fragrance that's going around right now. I do feel like you will love Vallejo and also anyone that likes Delina La Rose, I think that you will also really enjoy Vallejo. Um, so yeah, that's my review of Parfum Mali Vallejo. I totally love it. I cannot wait to start wearing it. Um, and I think that that's all I want to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried it yet? Have you got a sample yet? I feel like really lucky that I managed to get a bottle. It was sent to me. I do want to mention that. And, um, and of course I didn't have to make a review. I actually wanted to, uh, and kind of let you guys know my thoughts on it. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.